Hi everyone, it's Katie from TomandKatie.com and I'm back for our day 4 uh, video blog or vlog, I don't know why, I just described that to you. Anyway, um, yesterday we had a lot of issues, uh, if you had seen the video you probably already noticed this, um, with the wind getting in the sound, our mic not working properly, fire trucks and all of that. So today I decided to keep it simple and just film from our Mac. Um, I decided to discuss today the big subject of procrastination. That's right. We all do it. We all know that it's it's not right and it doesn't feel right when we do it either. Um, I thought about this and I was like, okay, let me think about, you know, some of the reasons why I procrastinate personally. Um, you know, and like excuses that I think in my head of like, the reasons why I'm procrastinating and why things need to wait longer to get done. So I thought um, one of the main reasons is there's always something that's more fun to do than, you know, your list of things. And, uh, you know, Pinterest is one of my things that gets in the way. Facebook, um, any TV shows that are not educational or beneficial to me whatsoever. Um, other things are, you know, if if one of the tasks that I need to do seems like a really just big and complicated task and I know it's going to drain so much of my time, I tend to just prolong it. Uh, other thing, well, I think the biggest one is, you know, after all these excuses, I think all lead to the big picture that, you know, if it's something important that I need to do, I know that I, oops, sorry about that, um, that I don't want to fail. You know, that fear of failure, the fear that, you know, I, I could put all my work into this and, um, you know, at the end I won't see the payoff or uh, it'll just be a big fail, basically. Um, another big thing of mine is, like, just taking that big step into getting things started. So, you know, I'll be like, okay, you know, I know that I need to do this by, let's say, 11 o'clock in the morning and I'll just be, like, just pushing it and pushing it and you know i think sometimes it's just once you take that step in starting then you know you can get things done so here are my tips for helping these um, i'm sure there's a lot more reasons that people uh, try to give themselves for procrastination as well so things to help you i personally think if you focus on the reason why you're doing this so you know i'm writing up this blog post um, so I can help my clients get to know me better and therefore uh, book more clients and book more weddings. So just fo focusing on the reason why you're doing it instead of, oh gosh, I gotta type this up kind of thing. Um, I think that helps out a lot. Another thing I think, uh, especially with like big complicated tasks, uh, like putting your website together, um, I think a good thing is to break it down into steps and break like the big task into its own little tasks. So, um, you know, setting up your bio page, setting up your gallery, and like dividing those so like once, you know, you, you finish that, you're like, oh, one done, and then you move on to the next until you get to the whole big picture. Um, the other thing I think is important is to prioritize yourselves. Um, running your own business is nowhere going to be easy or anything else that you do in your life. We're always going to have things to do. We're always going to have to take people places get things done, cook dinner, and all that stuff, but you need to start prioritizing. Um, another thing that will help. Also, I found that if I give myself some sort of incentive, some sort of reward at the end of the completed task, I seem to push myself a little bit more. And I feel that by the time that you like finish your task, the reward itself is the fact that you finished it, and you get this little feeling aside that you're like, oh my gosh, I just finished it. So, um, you know, and you can reward yourself by going on a walk, listening to your iPod, reading on your book, something that's, you know, gives you a little bit of a, obviously don't turn this into a, let's watch a marathon of your favorite show, uh, but just in, something small that keeps you going. And then my last tip would be just getting somebody that will hold you accountable. Um, now, be aware you might not like this person so much after this, but you just have to remember, you know, you've asked them to do this for you. So ask, 
you know, your partner, your friend, your sister, anybody to just be like, hey, did you submit your video for the 30 day vlog challenge today? And, you know, like just let them bug you until you know that you can get things done. So, um, I think, yeah, those are my tips. Um, I hope that I've helped you guys a little bit. If not, we'll try again in the next video. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next day, so tomorrow. Alright, take care.